In this video, I'm going to talk about the standard error of the difference between two sample means. And I'm going to do so by referring to the standard error of the difference between two sample means across two formulae. And the first one that I've got here is the one that I prefer. And then I'm going to show you the one that I don't prefer. And then I'm going to talk about some key facts related to the standard error of the difference between two sample means. And I'll mention now that ideally you have covered the material relevant to the one sample t-test that I covered in a previous chapter in the textbook. It's really important that you cover that material because what I'm going to talk about here is essentially very similar to what was discussed there and it's complementary. If you don't understand that material, you won't understand this as well. So here is the independent sample t-test formula in all its glory. And we can see that the standard error of the difference between two sample means is at the bottom. And we can see that variability in the data plays a central element to the standard error of the difference between two sample means formula. And that's true in the one sample t-test case, except it was represented as a standard deviation in the one sample t-test case. In the two sample t-test case, the variances associated with each sample are what play the crucial part. It's really about a different expression of variability rather than the standard deviation. And so here we can see another version of the independent sample t-test that I do not prefer. I find the denominator portion to be rather large, substantial, and unnecessarily so. But it is the case that this denominator portion of the independent sample t-test formula is the standard error of the difference between two sample means. So there are two factors that play a role in that. It's the variability in the data. The larger the variability, the larger the standard error of the difference between two sample means. That's indisputable fact. It's going to happen. And the other one is sample size. As the sample size increases, the standard error of the difference between two sample means decreases. So variability increases, standard error of the difference increases, sample size increases, standard error of the difference decreases. And basically, the reason that happens is that as we increase the sample size, we increase the confidence with which we can place in a result related to the difference between two sample means. Here are some key facts about the standard error of the difference between two sample means. First, just like the one sample t-test case, the standard deviation of the sample mean differences across repeated samples is a expression of the standard error of the difference between two sample means. It's a standard deviation. And literally, you can calculate the standard deviation associated with a long series of repeated samples, just like I did in the one sample t-test chapter. And that standard deviation from those repeated samples will be an estimate of the standard error. Now, in the context of a test of the difference between two sample means, those repeated samples are based on collecting a sample for group one and collecting a sample from group two and calculating the numerical difference between those two means across a large number of samples. And you're going to get a standard deviation from that. And that standard deviation will represent approximately 68% of all the differences between the sample means. And that was exactly true of the one sample t-test as well. And it's also true just of the standard error associated with a mean. Finally, 95% of all numerical differences between the sample means are within approximately two standard errors away from the mean associated with the differences. So in this case, just like the one sample t-test, the value associated with the standard error can be multiplied by approximately 2.0, depending on the sample size, in order to get the 95% multiplier, which allows the calculation of the confidence intervals associated with the difference between two sample means. So again, I assume that you have a good grounding in the material that I presented relevant to the one sample t-test and the standard error of the mean. And I'm pointing out in this video that the standard error of the difference between two sample means fundamentally shares the same principles as those associated with the previous analyses.